Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we are taking a look on launch day of the Mini 8KS. But before we get started, roll those credits. Okay, so this is the Mini 8KS, frozen shot at the best beginner level printer that you can buy at an affordable price without compromising on quality. So today, we're gonna to take a look at the unboxing, get a couple of first prints off it. This isn't the review, the full review will be coming, but this is the unboxing. We'd normally do this live, but we're trying to tie this in with uh, Frozen's launch event. So. We'll do the unboxing now, and then very soon afterwards, you guys will get the review drop as well. Now, so let's dive straight into the box. So position this under the camera. There we go. So that you guys get the full experience. So this is Frozen's chance and opportunity to, um, to try and break the beginner's market. They've always been a slightly more premium machine. They don't want to compromise on that quality but they want to try and bring their price to a point where they can bring in entry level and beginners without producing an inferior machine. So the specs on this are very similar to the specs on a Mini 8K. So we have, uh, we have a build volume exactly the same, which is 165 by, 7, by 72, by 170 in the in the Z. We've got a 22 XY resolution, layer thicknesses all the way down to 0 0.01. Maximum printing speed is 80 millimeters an hour. The idea of this is that it's lightweight, it's compact, and if you don't need to be doing large prints, um, then something like this could be exactly the printer you're looking for. So let's get into the size of this so a few differences that you'll want to know uh, you'll want to know about um, about slicer software so this one is an open platform as a result that means it will use voxel dance tango and other open slicers um, so again, the idea here is that they are trying to make this, they're trying to hit that beginner's market, that first resin printer that you buy that gets you hooked. And then once you're hooked, you carry on, you carry on in the family until you get all the way up to the, to the mega 8K, which we also have. And it's an absolutely astonishing machine. So, I can tell you already that the fact that this hood is green is going to desperately upset Mike's chi when it comes to uh, when it comes to the flow of his uh, of his office space. So there is a slightly redesigned um, there is a slightly redesigned build plate. So this build plate is etched and uh, looks slightly different on the top here, the the bracket and everything, and how this attaches, little different, um, but fundamentally the principle is the same. We have the classic box. So we've got a sanding disc, your warranty, some Allen keys, your power supply. Our one is a European power supply. Um, so this texture build surface is the same build surface you'll see on the Mighty 8K that wasn't on the original Sonic Mini. Um, the printer is lighter, it's only 10 kilos. The previous one was, um, was 13. One thing that is annoying is they have moved the USB port to the side here, rather than being at the front. So one, that USB port isn't at the front at all, um, and now it's even at the back of where, uh, of, of the side of this printer. So that's gonna annoy more than a couple of people. The VAT design is slightly different, but frankly looks very, very similar as to before. 
There are tabs on this, which is removing the protective layer from that film. There's also a tab on the screen here that we pull off. And that is the screen done. So it pops back on there. We get the classic USB stick. We get a scraper with Frozen etched on it. You get the world's tiniest funnel. And you get the gloves that only a one-handed toddler could use. You then get the plastic scraper as well. This is for agitating your resin so that you don't use the big scraper and end up piercing your FEP. So that is the unboxing. Very, very simple, nice and easy. Anyone would be able to unbox that without too much bother. Remember to take the protective films off and then we'll get this started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is the Z calibration. So this is something you have to do on all new resin printers or most of them anyway, the ones that don't come factory leveled. So tools, Z calibration, remove the resin vat, place an A4 piece of paper on the screen Loosen all the four screws. So the four screws they're talking about are the screws that are here. These four screws here, we'll loosen all of those. So you can see that this plate now moves up and down. So we have our bit of paper, we have our bed loosened. We click next. So you can see now that we're operating on one really beefy linear rail, whereas on the mini there are two linear rails. Um, but the upgraded bed and everything else should mean that, uh, that we are going to get the same performance out of this printer. So we will just wait for this to level. So you can see now that that is touching the bed. And as this says on here, you tighten the four screws, make sure the paper is unmovable and click done. So we want to make sure that that is nice and flat. I don't want to put too much pressure on it because it is on the screen. So we just want to make sure this stays nice and flat and it's not moving as a result of us tightening these screws up. So we tighten all four screws. This paper is unmovable, which is what it says here. You click done. The bill plate moves back up. Okay, so VAT goes back in. The way this VAT goes in, there are four locating holes in the bottom that go into the printer. And what's nice on this VAT is you've got four pouring spouts. So those four pouring spouts means no matter how you pick this VAT up, you can pour resin out whichever way you need to tilt it. So I like that. I like my Max to be at the back so that you can read it. So that will locate into the holes there we go and we screw this down and we are ready to print so let's put our first print on our first test as always is going to be the frozen exposure test it's nice and quick lets you figure out your settings figure out whether or not the printer's level and then after that you can put a normal print on so let's start out with the frozen test so okay so we're going to do our first print now so we've got our resin in here we are using some nova 3d resin that we had laying about 
um, we are going to use Voxel Tango Slicer. So this is an open source slicer that you can download for free. Um, there is a pro version that you can get as well. We're using the free version. We are using all the settings from a Mini 8K. We're not using any special settings for the S. It's two seconds a layer. We're doing the XP Finder STL from Frozen. Um, this exports in a PRZ file. So any slicer that exports in a PRZ um, will be able to uh, slice things for, for Frozen. And let's uh, do a little time lapse and see how well it does. So here we have the finished frozen test. This is in the 8K resin from frozen. And you can see that this is completely stock settings. This is done in Tango Slicer. And this has come out absolutely beautifully. So this is washed, but it isn't cured yet. And you can see that all the text there 
has come out really nicely. Those white bits that you can see are actually where I dried this very quickly with some kitchen towel. Um, so apologies for that. But that is an excellent start with stock settings. Very, very impressed with that. As a print right out of the box with zero tuning, that's really, really nice. So I know what you're thinking. You've changed clothes. True. So first issue we had was um, with, I was originally trying to use an old bottle of Nova resin. This resin has been sitting in here for probably about a year and a half. The bottle was already open. It didn't print. Um, we also had a couple of little teething issues with the slicer. So I went to my default, which is um, Chi2 Box. This is compatible with both Chi2 Box and with uh, Tango Slicer. So I went to my default, I went to Chi2 Box. There isn't a profile for it yet. If you try and use the mini 8K profile, it doesn't work. So it'll export as a PRZ, but there is a different screen resolution for this screen. Not much, but enough to mean that, um, to mean that this screen uh, won't work with the mini settings. So we got a beta, a closed beta version of Chi2 Box that had a mini AKS profile on it. So we sliced with Tango Slicer and we sliced with aqua gray resin and it's 8k resin as well i think you can agree that that came out really really nicely now bear in mind that this machine is all about bringing entry level 3d printing to new people making it accessible from ease of use open slices and not an expensive piece of hardware right this is coming in at an incredibly reasonable price for what it is. It's easily one of the cheapest 8K resin printers that's on the market at the moment in this build volume at 349 is their, is their launch price. Um, if you need 8K because you need those detailed, detailed models, machine could very well be it. Now we've got a full review coming. This is just a test print and just the unboxing so you can see what this machine can do. So keep an eye on the channel. We'll have a full review coming and we'll show you some minis of high detail and things like that. But out of the box, this is a very easy thing to get going except for the little slicer mix up which will, again will be sorted by the time that this goes live. I'm incredibly impressed with what they've managed to do with the price bracket that they've got and the quality that they're always going after. Frozen has always been, to me, the premium option, right? When it comes to resin printing, I'm not talking about the price of dental printers, but, you know, it has been a resin printing company that has always exuded quality. And they wanted to bring that quality in at a lower price point. And I think they've really managed to hit the nail on the head with that. Um, I think this is going to be fantastic for anybody wanting to do dental moles, doing like resin minis, that kind of thing, where you need that detail, but you don't necessarily need the build volume. I will caveat that and say that moving the USB stick to the side, irritating. But other than that, <laughs> this is a genuine alternative to a Mini 8K. It's an entry level machine for beginners. It really was that easy to set up. There was very little work. All the screen sort of talks you through how to do all the leveling. The setup is very, very quick. Pour resin in and, and off you go. It's not, it's not that complicated. It's not as feature rich as its more expensive cousins, but that's the point. Entry level, getting people onto the resin ladder, getting people hooked on the drugs and then, <laughs> and then selling them the more expensive stuff. So keep an eye on the channel. Do not forget to like and subscribe. We will very soon have the review of this coming out where we'll show you some more detailed prints and we'll show you a bit more of the time lapses and things. But I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Catch you on the next one.